And these dogs really do have absolutely no wires connected to them. So why don't we have a system like this at home, in all our living rooms? Well, that's because it's also extremely dangerous. The only reason that this works as well as it does is because I've got a metal plate above my head. It's sat at a few hundred thousand volts. And when you get massive voltages like that, they have quite a large field of influence, large enough in this case to excite the atoms within these tubes sufficiently that they cause the whole tube to glow. And in order to produce that huge electric field, I've had to connect my plate via that copper pipe to a strange looking contraption over here. This is a Tesla coil. It's our version of something that was invented over 100 years ago by the visionary but slightly mad genius Nikola Tesla. Now, these things are capable of generating hundreds of thousands, if not millions of volts. And Tesla built huge versions with the intention of transmitting power wirelessly over vast distances. The trouble is that the voltages are so huge that Tesla coils, even small ones like this, can also produce lightning, which is why traditionally we've kept our electricity safely trapped in insulated wires. Now, wires are incredibly good at transporting electrical power. There's precious little power loss between where it's generated and where you're plugging in the device you're using. But we're inherently lazy, and we'd really rather not go to the trouble of having to plug everything in. So is there a way of having useful wireless power without having to resort to massive fatal voltages? Well, yes, there is. Electric toothbrushes and more recently mobile phone charging mats certainly manage a little bit of wireless power transfer without the massive voltages. So how do they do it? They do it with magnetism. It works like this. What I've got here is a coil, and if you put an electric current through a coil, it becomes an electromagnet. Switch the current off and uh, it's no longer an electromagnet. Now, if you were to put another coil of wire within that field of magnetism, you can actually turn that magnetism back into electricity. And strangely enough, you do that by varying that magnetic field as much as possible, which you can do by simply switching it on and off. Pleased as I may be with my little piece of wireless power transfer, it is still a bit weedy and hardly life-changing. Unlike this. Now, we're just using a, a lamp, a light bulb at the moment, but you could genuinely run a telly a couple of feet from a wall using something very similar. So what's different? See, whereas I was switching that on and off maybe once or twice a second at best, the electronics here switch it on and off a million times a second. And the faster you switch it, the greater its area of influence. But even with all that super fast switching, still limited to, well, a couple of feet. And that's because magnetic fields drop off quite dramatically with distance. 